Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about using the form builder in Agile. Go to Admin Settings, Integrations, and then Web to Lead and select Launch Form Builder. To create a form or add a form, click on the Add Form button. It's going to take you to some templates we created, or you can create a custom form by clicking on the Custom button here. Let's select the Contact Us template. It then takes you into the editor, so I can show you some of the things that you can actually edit. So you can add radio buttons and you just drag and drop them on the form if you want to take it back you just put it back over here there are select options or multiple uh, choice options you can either change uh, the regular submit button to a submit and reset button and some other input options so to change the name of the form you click on the name here you do not want to change the domain here and do not change your agile API the thing you do can you can change is the name of the form. Let's see when contact us here. Keep in mind the name of the form can only start with letters and it cannot include any special characters, no special characters. Also, you want to give your form what is called a redirect URL. This is the URL where after the submission occurs, the person will go to such as a thank you page. So you want to create a custom thank you page. Whatever that URL is for your domain, you want to put that in there. You can also give uh, tags to those submissions. So once someone fills this form out, the data gets pushed to Agile and they will have these particular tags. Tags, uh, you can put in multiple tags on zone here, but tags can only start with letters, no special characters. You can give the background a trans, it can be transparent or no. You can also preload fields. If I select yes, and if I put this form on a website that has tracking code on it, and the contact fills out this form and they are already a contact in Agile with preload fields selected as yes, their data will be preloaded to help them quickly submit the form. That's what preload will do. Email notification, select true. Whoever the user is in Agile that created this form, when data gets submitted, they will get an email notification and then save it. For some of the actual fields, I'm going to click on the email. The ID of the field, you want to keep whatever the default is. Agile field, this is where you map the field in Agile. So this is an email field. So in Agile, we want to map it to the Agile, the email field in Agile. Also, you can change the placeholder, which is like a tool tip. Let's say enter your email here or whatever the tool tip is. The text of the field or the label of the field rather you can change that and say uh, let's see your email address and then you can make the field required or not good practice first name last name and email should be required fields and also more specifically the email field in agile must be a required field so let's save the form now we're going to talk about how to get the form on your website. There are various options. So from this list, click on this link here. You'll get this pop-up. So you have a permanent link that you can link to. Let's say you can add this link and link it in your email or if an email that you're sending out to or put it in your, maybe your signature if it's a specific form you always want somebody to fill out. Or you can use what is called embed code, iframe code, or full source code. And basically you would copy the code let's say I'm actually in WordPress I'm going to paste the code in and you always paste it in the text area and I'm going to preview that let's see what it looks like once this loads and this will be the form so that's the code and let me actually get back here I had an issue with my so I don't want to create a custom so I'm going to go back Actually, I'm sure I'm glad this happened. So this may happen to you. So you'll know how to get back to the form builder. And I'm just getting into the code. So that's the embed code. So this is the iframe code. I'm going to paste that. And you do this for all of the code. You just literally paste it in there. And I'm going to preview. You see the height is 100. I want to show you this because this may happen to you. Give you a quick handy tip. So it's iframe. And you see it's truncated. So what you want to do is go into the code and for the height, you want to change it from 100% to maybe 600. And now let's preview it. And now our form should look like it actually should look. 
there we are and then the same thing the other option is you can actually copy all of this source code and you would paste all of that in there as well so I'm going to paste it and paste it make sure I grabbed it control C control V and there's the code now keep in mind the other thing you do want to make sure that our tracking code is actually on your website uh, to get the track to get to the tracking code you go to your name admin settings API and analytics analytics code and you want to grab this code right here and the instructions are here you want to make sure you paste this code above the closing tag in your website if you're using WordPress we also have a WordPress plugin but you want to make sure our tracking code is there so that is how you can create a form and then add the form to your website I hope this was helpful thank you